here what's going on guys uh, let's do this problem right here the question is asking uh, an alpha particle with kinetic energy equal to 11 million electron electron volts is directed to a lead nucleus how close will it will get before the alpha particle is completely stopped so we have a nucleo nucleus right here um, yeah alpha particle alpha particle right here so basically alpha particle has two proton and two neutrons but here we only care about protons so let's say two protons because it's nucleus of the helium atom so this only has two protons two protons and moving toward this let's say this direction and they have provided the kinetic energy so kinetic energy is equal to 11 million electron volts we can say 11 million electron volts so electron volts and directed to a lead nucleus so we have lead right here pb and pb has 82 protons right 82 protons and this one is directed toward this alpha particle directed toward this one and in one situ in one situation it's going to stop right here so somewhere here it stopped let's say it stopped right here so what's going to happen is the kinetic energy the the total kinetic energy will be converted into potential energy and they are asking for the distance in that situation so this is what we are trying to find r right so nucleus how close will it get before the alpha particle is completely stopped so at this point it will stop and we have to find the radi uh, distance at that point so let's see how we can find it first of all this is given in electron volts and we have to know this one in joules right because we are dealing with si units so we have to know what is this equal to we, like one electron volts is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 90 joules so what we have to do is to convert this into joules we simply have to multiply this one by this one to convert into joules first uh, let's create the equations so what else we know that the initial kinetic energy so before it comes to stop we had a kinetic energy so we can say ke0 initial kinetic energy is equal to final potential energy so find pef right and we know that uh, potential energy can be calculated using K, uh, K Q1 Q2 over R so this is the potential energy equation so the, I'm going to apply that one for this one so here we are going to have K times Q of uh, PB times Q of alpha particle divided by the distance this distance so that's going to be the potential energy and that is equal to kinetic energy so we only care about this part right here this is what we are trying to find right so let's flip this around so we have ke right here ke naught so let's flip this around and bring it to this side r is equal to k q p b q alpha divided by k e naught right let's plug all the values K is 9 times 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. So 9 times 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter square over Coulomb square and QPB. And we already note that uh, 82 protons in PB atom. So we have to multiply whatever the charge of whatever the charge of PB by 82. So let uh, protons uh, charge is 1. Point so 82 times protons, one proton charges 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19. So that one multiplied by 82. And also we have we have another alpha, right? We have, we have to find Q alpha. We already mentioned that Q alpha has two protons. Two protons. So we have to multiply two by this 1.6 times 1 over 10 to the power of minus 19 again. So this is going to be. 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 90 in the bottom we have the kinetic energy kinetic energy so we have this one in electron volts 
So let's say instead of putting these zeros, we can say 11 times 10 to the power of 6 electron volt multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 or 90 joules per electron volt. So here electron volt, electron volt cancels and we will get the units in joule. So also if you notice we have 1.6 per times 10 to the power of minus 9 in the bottom and top we can cancel that one too right and after that if we calculate all these values you will end up with 2.15 times 10 to the power of minus 40 meter and that is our final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time